What's up guys, how you all doing? Welcome to another video. So apologies for my strange sounding voice. As much as I look good and well, I, I am not. <laughs> I am ill. I've got some kind of like cold flu type thing going on. I, I feel horrendous. But hey, I wanted to get a good video out for you guys because I'm conscious we haven't had one over the course of the last week. So tomorrow is Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to all of my viewers over there in the States. Of course, we don't have Thanksgiving here in the UK, but what we do still get is Black Friday. We've kind of inherited that one from you guys and we get Black Friday sales here in the UK, just like you guys get over there in the States. And I thought I would share with you some of the things that I've picked up over the course of the last few Black Fridays that in my experience have been good things to purchase on that kind of sale day. The type of things that I think are best to go out and look for and try and get yourself a good deal. Unfortunately, generally speaking, it seems as though like a lot of the cameras and lenses and stuff like that that people might be after don't really fall into the kind of Black Friday sale category, especially the newer ones that some of you guys might be after. So my, my list of stuff isn't going to include cameras and lenses, but it's going to be like everything else that kind of goes alongside it. Now, right now, we're still the day before Thanksgiving, so I don't have line of sight to exactly what's on sale my points here are more about go and have a look for these kinds of things because I've picked some of them up in previous Black Fridays and they're the type of thing that normally you do tend to find in the sales and I'm going to share with you my top five things right let's get straight into this number one I've got memory or hard drives so I, I have got loads of these this is a Samsung um, mini hard drive I think it's specifically called an M3 portable hard drive I've bought a couple of these funny enough in the last Black Friday sale last year I bought two of these I've got about 10 up there in a box on the shelf um, and I use them for all kinds of storage and backup I have other backup solutions as well um, but I use these kind of for like my day-to-day -day kind of backups really really useful um, the kind of thing that isn't too much money but you know what if you can get them even cheaper in the Black Friday sale well worth it what I should say at this point for this and all of the other items I'm gonna link them below in the description uh, the link to Amazon where I normally pick them up from and in fact I, I did buy these on Amazon in the last Black Friday sale but but don't just follow that link go check it out because it might be that Amazon have a sale on these items but it's worth checking your local suppliers in whichever country you guys are in as well. Have a look and see if you can get a better deal than that. I'm just going to link the one that I know below, but don't feel obliged to follow that link. Make sure you look around and check out for you what's the best Black Friday price you can get. So number one, hard drives. Moving on to number two. That is my laptop. So this is my Lenovo ThinkPad laptop. I got this in a Black Friday sale. I think it was two years ago and what you get of course now you guys might be familiar you also get Cyber Monday which is the Monday after this Friday where you get lots of kind of IT related deals and so it's a really good time of the year to search around and see if you can find yourself a deal on a new laptop or a new computer if you're looking for one I'm not suggesting you should go out and buy a new laptop for the sake of it but if you're in the market for a laptop or you think in the next couple of months you might need a laptop now is a great time to try to buy one again I'll link in the description the link to the one that I I've got you might find a, a better one for you I know not everyone is a PC guy you might be out there using your Macs I, I get that but for me a Lenovo ThinkPad that's the way to go absolutely love my ThinkPad okay moving into the third item and that is what I'm just gonna call bags and straps so things like backpacks camera bags uh, roller cases camera straps this kind of stuff it's a great time if you get out there onto this is a think tank backpack if you go onto Amazon get on to the think tank website get onto like the low pro website you'll find that a lot of items will have some kind of black friday sale you can guarantee somewhere like low pro think tank they'll probably have some kind of black friday sale can't guarantee it's going to be the bag that you've specifically got your eye on but well worth checking out their websites because it's a good time of year just to get some money off something like that which perhaps you were thinking of purchasing anyway 
Okay, moving into item number four. And that's something that is actually not necessarily a photo item at all, but for me is essential for photography. And that is your photography clothing. Now, especially when it comes to wet weather clothing, I use a brand called Regatta. I have some Regatta waterproof trousers, Regatta like waterproof jacket, and I love them. Really, really good, small, cheap priced, fold up nicely. If you look online, again, Amazon, but also places like here in the UK, we have like Mountain Warehouse and Blacks and those kinds of websites will have Black Friday sales. So it's well worth getting onto them, having a look and see if you can pick up something like that cheaper if it's something you might be needing as we start to head into the rest of November, December, January, the cold, horrible, rainy months where we're all out there shooting in the rain. I hate shooting in the rain, but we've got to do it. A good chance to get yourself some money off your waterproof clothes. And moving into the fifth item. Now, I, I kind of said I wasn't going to include cameras and lenses. Maybe this is kind of a cheating one. But my fifth item is action cameras. Now, this is my Osmo Action, which I use loads for like my little vlog videos. When you see me out and about, like filming myself in stadiums, it's normally on my Osmo Action. This time of year, Black Friday, is normally a good time to get yourself this type of hardware. For example, I saw online earlier, I'm um, advertising a bit early, uh, that GoPro are doing a really good Black Friday sale on Friday. I haven't checked, but I imagine DJI might do as well. So if you are looking at something like an action camera, could be a great time of year to buy it. Even if you save yourself something like £50, $50, well, that, that's a big chunk when it comes to something like an action camera. So well worth checking out. And that rounds off my five items. I hope you guys found that useful. Like I said, I can't guarantee all those things are going to have money off on Friday, but in my experience, it's a good time of year to try and buy those types of things because you normally do find money off some of them on various websites. Make sure you go have a look and get yourself a good Black Friday deal. On Friday itself, I'm going to get online a little bit. I'm going to see if I can find myself any decent Black Friday deals that I think might be good for you guys. If I do, I'm going to share them on my Twitter. So make sure you follow me on Twitter at Rob Samples Photo. Whilst you're there, go follow me on Instagram as well at Rob Samples Sports, the best place to see my sports work. If you enjoyed this video or you found it useful, do me a favor, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I will see you on the next video.